Good afternoon, um, or good morning, or wherever you are. Um, my name is Diane Turner, and I'm going to be telling you about the fundamentals of gas chromatography this afternoon. Um, this is a two-part event, so we have about, about an hour this afternoon, and then about an hour again on Friday. Um, this course is really aimed at people with very little experience in gas chromatography, so we will be going through things at quite a basic level. So, first of all, in your bottom left-hand corner, you should be able to see there's two documents there. So one is the handout for, for both sessions, today's session and Friday's session, and they both include notes as well. And there's also a glossary um, of all the terms to do with gas chromatography, which will include everything we're talking about, but also from our further advanced courses as well. So they're available there for you just to download. You should see a button that says download file. This session is being recorded, and it will be available from Separation Science On Demand. Um, at the end of the day, um, oh, sorry, at the end of the session, I'll be answering questions, and then you should see a box in front of you at the bottom that says Q&A. So you can type your question in there at any point throughout the presentation. So of course, I might answer your question slightly later on, but we shall be then answering as many questions as possible um, at the end of the session. Any questions that don't get are, um, answered, they will be sent to me, so I can then email you with an answer should you um, prefer that. Um, so, shall we get started? So, as I said, this is the Fundamentals of Gas Chromatography Part 1. So, first of all, let's have a think about the definition of what chromatography is. So chromatography is a technique used to separate complex mixtures. Originally, it came from the Greek words, words chromatos, which is color, and graphene, which means to write. Therefore, it's a technique that involves separating chemicals and identifying them by color. Chromatography today, though, is a physical method of separation in which components should be separated and distributed between two phases. One of these is a stationary phase, and this doesn't move, while the other phase is the mobile phase, which moves in a very definite direction. So that's chromatography, so, but we're here to talk about gas chromatography. So gas chromatography, then, the definition is the type of chromatography that involves the use of an inert or an unreactive gas, that's the mobile phase, to separate the chemicals in a mixture. It's generally used in analytical chemistry, where we want to identify what components are there, if they are there or if they're not there. And the sample travels throughout the whole of the gas chromatograph in the gas phase. So therefore, it has to be a compound that can actually get into the gas phase in the temperature that we're actually using on the instrument. So before we start going into how it all works, let's just have a think about the terminology. And this then gets us all into the same position and place. So first of all, a GC, called a gas chromatograph, and that's where we perform our separation in the gas phase. On the screen in front of us, you can see that there's actually quite a lot of different types of, of GCs. All the main ones here that I'm just clicking on all look pretty similar. All different manufacturers, they all consist of an oven and an autosampler, which sits on the top and injects the sample. There's also, a, these are... These four I just clicked on are the main manufacturers, but we also have various very small manufacturers that produce very small instruments. Um, you can now get gas chromatographs that are handheld up to really quite large instruments. So these are just a couple of smaller instruments just there as examples. So for now, we'll just be talking about a gas chromatograph as a GC. 